Hello, I'm standing here at a busy crossroads with the chapel of St. Michael um, in the village of Messelbroek. Uh, around all Belgium you find these little chapels for the Virgin Mary or some saint. And today I want to show you what a chronogram is. Hello again, it's Peter Vinkier and you are still watching Latin Everywhere. So before I continue, I want to thank my first ever Patreon supporter, Rebecca. Rebecca, thank you very much. Um, as you can see, I've moved to a more quiet and more beautiful place, um, but we will still be talking about a chronogram. So what is a chronogram? Well, from the late Middle Ages, um, this fashion um, appeared. And it is, as you can see on our picture here, a fashion in which in inscriptions, mostly Latin inscriptions, but today it's not about Latin, I'm sorry for that. Um, inscriptions, um, there was some hidden message inside. And this hidden message is a number. And that number is mostly the date uh, on which the inscription was made. So how do you do it? Well, you can see it here on the inscription of the chapel of St. Michael in Messelbrook. Um, that some letters have been painted red instead of black. Well, that is because these letters are the chronogram, the secret message. As you can see here, it are all letters that are used as Roman numerals. So if you just count those letters as Roman numerals, and we can do that here, uh, you see a red M, a red I and a red C in Michael, Michael, then you see a lot of red V's or U's or W's, every V counts as a 5, so a W is 10. Um, and you see an L and a D. L is 50, D is 500. So if we count all those Roman numerals, you get a thousand, one, a hundred, five, 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 five again, fifty, five, five hundred and five. And that gives you 1691, the year in which this chapel for St. Michael was built. Um, I know it's not a Latin inscription today, but I'll translate it anyway. So it says H, which is short for Heilige, Saint, Michael, Michael. Bewaar uw volk van druk. Bewaar means safe. Uw volk, your people, van druk, save your people from pressure. Very simple prayer to Saint Michael. This chronogram we'll explore uh, in other videos and you can uh, check out more on my Patreon channel. But today I also want to talk about this particular inscription, this particular chapel. So, I uh, wanted to check out whether I could find uh, this chapel on uh, some other documentation to check whether the date was correct. And so I looked at some old maps and I stumbled upon um, something odd. I'll show the maps up here also. So first I checked um, one of the best known and more ancient maps of the territory that is now Belgium. That is the Ferraris map, um, made in 1777. And at this crossroads, where this chapel is situated now, I didn't see a chapel. 
So what did it mean? Does it mean that the inscription is a fake? That uh, someone miscalculated or what? So I dig some, uh, I dig deeper. I checked some other old maps. This one from the 1740s. Chapel's also missing. And then I checked some local old maps from the Duchy of Aarschot um, from the second half of the 1700s. And also on that local map, the chapel was missing. Which is odd because on all three maps, another chapel that is situa situated a few kilometers away is visible. So it's not that they considered chapels not noteworthy. But the inscription, as it turned out, isn't lying. On some other map um, from the mid 1800, the chapel is there. So the chapel is almost 200 years old at least, but why does the inscription say 1691? Well, I took another look at those three old maps and I found a chapel of St. Michael approximately one and a half kilometer to the south on another crossroads. So is it the same chapel? Um, well, probably it is. Since chapels were holy, sacred, um, people held and still do uh, hold them in esteem. So when for some other reason the chapel is in the way, they did not destroy them, but just move them. Um, so if we look at these maps, the chapel was there already in 1740s, yes. so 1691 is possible, but somewhere in between 1777 and 1822, it was moved to the north to another crossroads. So why is that? Well, the late 1800s and the early 1900s were in this area. Um, start of what you could call early industrialization and a lot of paved roads were made then to connect cities and the place where the chapel stood is a place where they put one of those roads it's still there it's a very very busy uh, road connecting to larger cities so probably during the construction of this road, um, the chapel stood in the way and they just moved it up a bit um, to some, I suppose, then quieter place, but saved the same inscription. So the chapel was probably built in 1691, but it was moved somewhere in the late 18, early 19th century to its current location. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, um, please check out my Patreon. You can find uh, more chronograms there, worksheets for your classroom, etc. As always, it has been a pleasure. I'll see you next time. Bye.